Welcome to the Philippines Premier Motor Show. This is Autofocus. I'm Ray Louis Gamboa. Here are our features on this edition of your electronic magazine, exclusive to the automobile and its industry. Starting off with reviews of two vehicle models presently in the local market, a mid-sized SUV from Ford, the next-gen Everest Titanium Plus, and a subcompact crossover from GAC, the GS3. We'll also have a glimpse of some of the latest automobile models and concept cars from around the world. This week, we shall have the 2023 Bentley Continental GT Azure and the 2023 Mitsubishi Outlander Special Edition. Plus, a feature-to-feature -feature comparison of two pickups, the Isuzu D-MAX LSE 3L AT versus the Mazda BT50 3L AT. On Autopedia, we'll talk about the Boost Controller. And together with the latest news and developments in the local auto industry, we shall have the highlights of the BMW iX3 launch as our special feature. The next 60 minutes is all about the automobile. This is Autofocus and we'll be right back after this short break. Welcome back to Autofocus, the automobile show. We start this edition of your electronic magazine with a review of one of the latest automobile models from Ford. This edition of Car Review checks out the top-of-the-line variant of the next-gen Ford Everest Titanium Plus 4x4. During its launch, Ford said customer feedback factored a lot in the development and design of the next-gen Ford Everest. The next-gen Everest rolled out during the launch is on a larger end of the mid-size SUV segment at 4,914mm long, 1,923mm wide, and 1,842mm tall. It arrived at a 2,900mm long wheelbase and 227mm minimum ground clearance. The wider track and longer wheelbase, 1,620mm in both front and back, than in the previous generation allow for more muscular and an aggressive stance on the road, as well as a roomier interior for a mid-sized 7-seater SUV. Ford gave the new Everest a tougher and more muscular look by emphasizing horizontal and vertical lines of the fascia and profile, while the C-clamp headlamps and prominent horizontal bar with a blue oval front and center reflect Ford's global design DNA. Ford brought in the next-gen Everest to the country in four trim levels, the top-of-the-line Titanium Plus, the Sport, the Limited, and the Trend. Only the Titanium Plus is offered with a 4x4 drivetrain as an option and can be distinguished from lesser variants by its chrome front grille. And only the Titanium Plus 4x4 features the Matrix LED headlights, the rest have LED multi-reflector headlamps. Also only on the Titanium Plus comes in panoramic moonroof and, curiously enough, puddle lamps. Like all the rest of the Titanium Plus comes with daytime running lamps, auto on off headlights, follow me home lights, front and rear fog lamps, LED tail light with full width design, high mount stop lamp, power folding and power adjustable side train indicators, side steps, roof rails, front and rear splash guards, and front and rear tow hooks. And like the Sport the Limit variants, the Titanium Plus features rain sensing wipers. The next gen Everest comes with lift gate for loading stuff in the rear. On the Titanium Plus, the power lift gate can be activated with foot movement. Ford says the brief from its customers was that they wanted an Everest that was built, tough outside, and safe and comfortable sanctuary inside. In the Titanium Plus, the sanctuary is posh with prime real and synthetic leather for the seats and trim. The next-gen Everest is noticeably roomier than the previous one. And all variants on offer arrive equipped with smart keyless entry and push-button start. 
The AC ingress and egress into all rows of seats are enhanced by second row seats that slide forward much farther than in the old Everest and the Titanium Plus 4x4, the 50-50 folding seats for two fold electronically at a touch of a button. The second and third row seats also fold flat to provide the at much more room for longer and wider stuff. While driver and front seat passenger enjoy the center console with dual cup holder recesses as well as the dash mounted pop out cup holders, those on the second and third row also have places to store their things as well as a 12 volt power outlet to charge mobile phones, tablets, and other devices. The Titanium Plus variants feature a 230 volt inverter in the rear console. Except for the Trend 4x2 variants, all others in the next gen Everest made available locally have driver and front passenger seats that feature 8 way power adjust function. The Titanium Plus also raises the bar for the dash and instrumentation in mid-sized SUVs with a 12-inch digital instrument cluster. Then there's a 12-inch high-resolution touchscreen infotainment system that comes with the latest Sync 4A communication and entertainment system that already uses cloud technology. The system also features enhanced voice recognition and wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatibility. While USB connections are available, there's a pad for wireless charging. The leather-wrapped steering also features controls for the audio-integrated mobile phone systems, although it is best used voice-operated systems available in the Everest. Other comfort and convenience features in the next-gen Titanium Plus 4x4 include power windows, auto-dimming rear-view mirror, dual-zone electronic automatic temperature control, ambient lighting, driver and front passenger sun visors with illuminated vanity mirrors. The Everest Titanium Plus 4x4 is powered by a 2.0-liter bi-turbo diesel engine that generates a maximum of 210 PS at 3,500 RPM and 500 Nm of torque from 1,750 to 2,000 RPM. This is mated to a 10-speed automatic transmission with an electronic shifter. The next-gen Everest Titanium Plus powertrain features a terrain management system that provides six on- and off-road drive modes, normal, eco, tow haul, slippery, mud ruts, or sand, to help master all sorts of terrain. The 4x4 variant also comes complete with an electronic locking rear differential. The brief for the next-gen Everest also called refined handling on all sorts of terrain. Ford said the solution was to use an updated chassis, wider track, and refined suspension system that features double wishbone with coil spring and anti-roll bar in front and coil spring with watts link and anti-roll bar. The brake system uses ventilated discs on all four wheels. Only the next-gen Everest Titanium Plus 4x4 comes with advanced driver assistive safety technologies that include adjustable speed limiter, adaptive cruise control with stop-and-go and lane centering, blind spot information system with cross-traffic alert and braking, pre-collision assist, lane departure warning and lane keeping system, auto high beam, distance alert and distance information, forward collision warning, driver alert system, reverse braking assist, hill descent control, ESP with traction control system and electric brake booster, tire pressure monitoring system. The top-of-the-line Everest also comes with 360-degree camera and front and rear parking sensors to aid with parking inside spaces. But it can also park the Everest for you with the Active Park Assist 2.0. Just hold down the Park 8 button and trust the system to park the Everest for you. Other standard safety and security features in the Everest are the Hill Launch Assist with rollover mitigation, electronic parking brake, 7 airbags including side and curtain and knee airbags, anti-lock brake system with electronic brake force distribution, security alarm system, ELR safety belts, and child seat isofix anchor points. The next-gen Everest makes a good case for saying it an all-in-one SUV package combining capability, safety, and comfort. Attributes that Filipino customers look for in SUVs for the family. The latest auto industry news and developments right after this break. to the core. Welcome back to Autofocus. We now have the latest auto industry news. 
Southgate Motors Ventures Corporation has opened its third Nissan dealership. Nissan SVC Desmarinas is located along 3170 Emi Agnado Highway, Salitiran 2 in Desmarinas, Cavite. Nissan Philippines President Juan Manuel Hoyos graced the festive grand opening of another Nissan dealership in the province of Cavite. I want just to congratulate SVC. Now he's helping us to expand our, our network. And this is very important because now in Cavite, in Las Mariñas, you will have the newest investment of SVC, opening a new Nissan dealership here in the seven largest region in the Philippines. It's very important for us. We have a large customers already in this area that they can only not just buy our new products like the Kixi Power or the Livina, but also they can service their cars that they have been bought in the other dealerships around the area. It is amazing. This is a great investment. It's completely brand new and I'm loving it. Tay Sornet, president of Southgate Motors Ventures, invites Nissan car owners and enthusiasts to visit the new landmark in Das Marinas. I am inviting all our customers to visit our newest baby, the Nissan Das Marinas Cavite. And not only from here in Das Marinas, but the whole of Cavite, we are inviting you to come over and see for yourself our newest models like the Kicks, Livina, and the new patrol. Our service is open from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. One of the most powerful SUVs in the world is now available in the country. Aston Martin Manila has rolled out the new DBX 707 to stake a claim to having the most powerful ultra high luxury SUV on local roads. And the DBX 707 is the fastest SUV in the world. It is a, an upgrade of the DBX V8. Everything's bigger. The brakes are bigger. The engine's more powerful. The rims are bigger. The brakes are bigger. So it's really a performance SUV. It's a good balance between performance, luxury, and comfort. Basically, you can drive this north to south and you'd feel fresh after. Ownership of the DBX 707 comes with a 33.5 million peso price tag, but Aston Martin Manila believes this is still extremely competitive for its segment. Aston Martin Manila promises more exciting products are to be launched this year. Uh, there will be more variants that will be coming this year, more powerful, more exclusive, so just stay tuned. It's going to be an exciting year. Those are the latest news and developments in the automotive industry. We shall take another short break. Stay with us. I'll be right back. Who said happiness can only be found on the ground? Next generation Ford Ranger. Do the undone. Reserve yours now on Ford.com.ph or at your nearest Ford dealer. Welcome back to Auto Focus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine. Here's our comparison of the latest automobile malls belong to the same category on Head to Head. This Head to Head pits two Japanese brand pickups in the higher end of the market. The Isuzu D-Max LSE 3 liter against the Mazda BT50 3 liter automatic transmission in a spec-to-spec -spec compare. Pickup truck buyers are now spoiled for choice. Whether they acquire pickups for utility or recreation, or both, they are no longer limited in their options. It should be a good idea for those in the market for pickup trucks to check out the Isuzu D-Max LSE 3L and the Mazda BT-53 LAT. The Isuzu D-Max LSE 4x4 is 5,277mm long, 1,880mm wide, and 1,810mm tall, with a 3,125mm long wheelbase 
with a 240mm minimum ground clearance. The Mazda BT50 3L 4x2 AT is 5,280mm long, 1,870mm wide, and 1,785mm tall with a 3,125mm long wheelbase. The top of the line D Max can be distinguished from other variants in the lineup by its thicker cladding, front bumper card, roof rails, and 18 inch matte dark gray alloy wheels wrapped by 26560 R18 all terrain tires. The D Max LSE also comes with bi LED projector type headlamps with automatic leveling and auto off function, LED daytime running lights, double LED rear combination lamps with light guide, and front and rear fog lamps. Other exterior features include side view mirrors with integrated turn lights that power just in fold, rain sensing wipers, and step board. The Mazda BT50 comes standard with LED headlamps, front fog lamps, intermittent windshield wipers, aluminum side step, bed liner, 17 inch aluminum wheels with silver finish, and 25565 R17 tires. The BT50 4x2 is distinguished by the signature Kodo front grille with black finish and body colored power adjustable and folding side mirrors. The D-Max LSE comes standard with remote car lock and remote start engine functions. The cabin features leather covered seats with a driver's seat capable of adjusting 8 ways. The second row seat for 3 splits and folds 6040. The leather wrapped steering wheel tilts and telescopes and features switches for audio, phone, and voice controls, driver assist systems, and multi information display. It also comes with electronic power steering, dual zone climate control with vents on rear console, instrument cluster with 4.2 inch electroluminescent multi information display, and 12 volt accessory outlet. The Mazda BT50 interior comes with seats upholstered in black fabric that complement the dark trim and finish of the cabin. The driver's seat manually adjusts six ways to the front passenger's four ways. Comfort and convenience features include remote keyless entry, power windows with one touch up down function, single zone climate control system with manual controls and rear vents. The urethane steering wheel tilts and telescopes and features switches and buttons for audio and Bluetooth functions, as well as standard cruise control. The Isuzu D Max infotainment system uses 10.4 inch touchscreen Bluetooth, USB auxiliary in port, and eight speakers. The BT50 4x2 audio system comes with a 7 inch LCD touchscreen with USB and Bluetooth connectivity, Android Auto, and wireless Apple CarPlay and 6 speakers. The D Max LSE is powered by a 2000 cc 4 cylinder turbocharged and intercooled diesel engine that generates 150 horsepower and 450 Nm of torque. The LSE comes with 4x4 drive, 6 speed automatic transmission with sequential shift, transfer control switch, and aluminum rear drive shaft. The suspension system uses double wish modes with coil spring, high mounted upper control arm, and stabilizer in front, and long span semi elliptical soft ride leaf spring in the rear. The brake system features ventilated disc and rear auto adjust drums. The Mazda BT50 is powered by a 2999cc 4 cylinder DOHE diesel engine with intercooler and turbocharger that can generate up to 190 PS at 3600 revolutions per minute and 450 Nm of torque from 1600 to 2600 RPMs. This is made into a 6-speed automatic transmission driving the rear wheels. The suspension system uses double wish modes in front and leaf springs in the rear. The D-Max comes with Isuzu's Advanced Driver Assist System, or ADAS, a suite of driver assist technologies that include forward collision warning, autonomous emergency brake, adaptive cruise control with manual speed limiter, lane departure warning, blind spot monitoring, rear cross traffic alert, and parking aid sensors with 4-eye rear view camera. Added for safety are 7 SRS airbags, anti-lock brake system with electronic brake force distribution, brake assist, electronic stability control, hill start assist, and hill descent control. The Mazda BT-53 L4 x 280 is equipped with anti-lock brake system, electronic stability control with traction control, hill descent control, hill launch assist, and the Mazda Active Safety technology that includes lane departure warning, autonomous emergency braking, blind spot monitoring, automatic high beam control, and forward collision warning. Rear sensors and reverse cameras help make parking the BT-50 easier. Pickup trucks on the higher end of the segment now feature many of the latest advances in automotive technology for comfort, safety, and convenience. After checking out both the D-Maxes and the BT-50 specs and features, which do you think best fits your wants and needs? More about the automobile here on Autofocus as we usher in our segment featuring the autos of the world. Spotlighting concept cars as well as newly launched and about to be launched automobile models from around the world. For your exciting viewing on this edition of our Electronic Automobile Magazine, we have the 2023 Bentley Continental GT Azure. Let's watch this. 
Bentley Motors has handcrafted a unique and one-off Continental GT Azure, inspired by Bentley's retained example of the iconic R-Type Continental, JS949. The new Continental GT is in honor of the JS949's 70th birthday, celebrating one of the important style icons in Bentley's history. The new Continental GT Azure is designed to enhance the well-being and comfort of the vehicle's occupants, making every journey a relaxing experience regardless of distance. Seating is the foundation for driving comfort and control, and all Bentley Azures feature the front seat comfort specification standard. This includes a massage function with six programmable settings which promotes the constant micro-adjustments in muscle and posture that are so vital in preventing fatigue, adjustable side bolsters, electric seatbelt adjustment, and comfort headrests. Another key element of the Continental GT Azure is Bentley Dynamic Ride, Bentley's 48-volt active anti-roll control system that enhances ride comfort and limits roll for smoother, more relaxing journeys. The system cushions driver and passengers from excessive movement by electronically decoupling the anti-roll bars when appropriate to smooth the ride, and applying up to 1,300 Nm of anti-roll torque in 0.3 seconds when cornering to keep the body flat and stable. The Continental GD Azure also features a standard the touring specification which includes driver assistance systems, imbuing the driver with a sense of confidence and relaxed control whatever the traffic or weather conditions. Adaptive cruise control maintains a set distance from the vehicle in front, slowing down when the vehicle in front does so and resuming the set speed once the lane is clear. Together with lane assist, traffic assist, Bentley safeguard, the Bentley suite of onboard radar and camera systems, constantly monitoring the surrounding traffic and roads and can intervene if necessary to prevent or avoid an accident. The relaxing and re-energizing environment of the Azure cabin that reduces driver fatigue through its multi-sensor and science-informed design can only help to enhance the safety of the car. Studies have shown that in 20% of all road collisions, tiredness has played a role. The driver's sense of relaxed control is further enhanced by the heads-up display, providing directions and navigation directly in the line of sight and by night vision, which uses infrared cameras to identify pedestrians, cyclists, and fauna outside the beam of the LED headlights. Kailangan na maaasahan, kailangan na matibay Pang matagalan kasama mo sa pag-unlad ng negosyo Modernong disenyo, kaya-kaya ang cargo mo Nagtatak na ito Isuzu Trap is level up with Isuzu Level up mo ang iyong negosyo Isuzu Trap is level up with Isuzu Level up with Isuzu Trap is Motul is the most trusted motor oil of the top teams competing in some of the world's most grueling race competitions. The WRC, the WTCC, and the Japan GT. Motul is the only 100% fully synthetic motor oil in the market. It has antioxidation properties that prevent premature thickening and aging due to thermal stress and guarantees total engine protection. For more information about Motul engine oils, visit www.motul.com.ph The Mitsubishi Strata Athlete, confident to the core. Life comes at you fast. If you're brave enough, drive right back at it. Brave the big city or the great outdoors. Brave the carpool or the extra cargo. Brave the unexpected with Honda Sensing. Brave the long road with fuel efficiency to reach your destination. The all new Honda BRV. Brave the next level. Welcome back to Autofocus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine. Our special feature is next. BMW Philippines now has another full electric model in its lineup. This special feature takes us to the rollout of the BMW iX3. <laughs> We are right now in the RSA Motors Green Hills showroom and tonight we've introduced to the media the 2023 BMW iX3 SUV, battery electric vehicle version of the very popular BMW X3. 
like what it is, no? It is a BEV version of the BMW X3. So it allows our prospects, our buyers who want to start going into electric vehicles, some familiarity with the, which is the look and feel of the current X3. And uh, you have it in a platform that is full electric. We launched the car tonight. We're taking pre-orders for it. We have more cars coming in in the first quarter of the year. The buyers can come to RSA Motors Green Hills or RSA Motors in Libis. These are currently the two I-certified dealers in the country. And you can take a look at the cars and, and place your orders there. The price of the vehicle is 4590000 And that includes a BMW wall box charger installed in your home. And it also comes with a five-year vehicle warranty and the eight-year battery warranty. So I invite all the viewers no, to please uh, drop by RSA Motors Green Hills and RSA Motors in Libis to have a look at the iX3. It will be on display starting tomorrow, the 24th of uh, January. BMW is going to promise you a lot more exciting things in 2023. This is just the start. Thank you. It may be the premium and luxury auto segment that is leading the way, but it seems the shift towards the use of full electric vehicles for personal mobility is truly on the way, even in the Philippines. Up next is another exciting feature on Autos of the World. This time around, we have the 2023 Mitsubishi Outlander Special Edition. Let's watch this. Mitsubishi Motors North America Inc. celebrated its 40th birthday. To further commemorate 40 years of operations in the United States, the brand is expanding its flagship family of seven passenger SUVs with the special anniversary editions of its top selling Outlander and newly launched Outlander plug in hybrid electric vehicle, combining a unique paint scheme, badging, and premium accessories, and offering a special value. The 40th anniversary Outlander includes the same quilted leather door inserts in black and saddle tan and semi aniline leather-appointed seating surfaces at the top-of-the-line SEL Premium Package, and ups the ante with a unique black diamond and bronze two-tone paint scheme and 40th anniversary badges. All 40th anniversary models are fitted with the brand's signature Super All-Wheel Control 1 All-Wheel Drive System, a panoramic sunroof, Bose Premium Sound System, and a 10.8-inch heads-up display as standard. As the company looks forward to the next 40 years in the US and beyond, momentum is already building behind MMNA with its brand new North American headquarters opening. An all new or significantly refreshed lineup of vehicles highlighted by the 2022 Outlander and 2023 Outlander PHEV. A robust and growing dealer partner network and record breaking sales success. From its inception to today, the company has always held close to one ideal to design, engineer, and market vehicles that offer outstanding value and safety, leading edge design and pride of ownership. The past 40 years have seen vast changes in consumer preferences and tastes. The MMNA has seen both good years and slack ones. Even during the supply chain challenges brought about by the COVID-19 pandemic, MMNA sales performance remains strong, and the company is poised for another 40 years of turning heads and driving excitement. Are you into grassroots racing, slaloms, autocross, time attacks, and circuit racing? Do you like to keep your daily ride in tip-top condition? Do you want to improve the performance and ride of your vehicle? Then head over to Fix Stop Auto Service along 91 Congressional Avenue, Project 8 in Kazan City. Fix Stop Auto Service can level up the performance and ride of your daily rider weekend racer of all brands, models, and makes from Japanese, American, European, and all other global manufacturers. Fix Stop Auto Service offers preventive maintenance services as well as upgrades of brakes, suspension, and other mechanical works. 
FixStop also caters to all your needs for performance tires and accessories to make your dream vehicle stand out on the road or for just your enjoyment. For appointments, call 0917-803-8283 or message us on our Facebook page www.facebook.com slash FixStopAutoService.